Hello friends. Hope you all have been doing good and uh, whatever so far we have discussed you all have been practicing with the exercises. In this video we are going to discuss about the addition of one activity to the course and uh, we will see that how that activity can be added like uh, other activity in the previous vid uh, video we have discussed about how we can add the assignment and in this video we will see the other activity so for that let's log in as a admin I log in here and then I go to my dashboard and uh, then I choose my course I'm having only one course right now so it is showing only one if I'm having more than one course so it will be listed there so I'm inside my dashboard uh, of the course and uh, first uh, I have to enable the editing so that I can add the content uh, to my course so you can see that now there is a uh, I uh, means uh, this editing can be done because other icons have been enabled so now I just go down and uh, I choose this 25th April to 1 May week and I will add some activity here add an activity or resource so you can see the same window which we have been discussing since last uh, uh, last video so in the previous video we have discussed about the addition of assignment now in this video we will see that how we can add the other activity so other activity includes chat choice database and each has different task so you have to decide accordingly what actually you want to do so let let me choose the chat option so that uh, we'll see how this chat uh, acts in the course so the basic chat activity enables the student to have the interaction text based interaction in the real time so they can directly just join the chat room and discuss with the creator or the teacher so the the basic purpose of this activity is this and based on this uh, the evaluation also can be done so I just selected uh, chat and click on add so the moment I click on add we can notice that one window is open and I can enter the detail here like discussion on Moodle and I can describe here discussion about Moodle will be done here or whatever the description you want to give it is up to you and uh, if you want a description to be displayed on the course page so you can do that so I just select this and then chat session the timing you have to set from which date it will be started so let me choose the time here and then repeat publish session times don't publish any ch chat time so we are not going to chat but there are some other options li also like no repeats at the same time every day at the same time every week so if you want this in repetition so accordingly the option you can opt and then save past messages if you are having the dis means discussion which is very important in nature and you want to save it also so number of days you can set so two days past two session uh, will be saved here which can be accessed later and uh, next setting is that everyone can view past session it is up to you whether you want to allow it or not uh, others to see then common module setting this is availability so on course page or hide from the student it is your choice and uh, you can restrict it also as per the options available like activity completion date and then um, grade user profile so these all restriction you can put based on the 
course content and course objective and uh, then finally I just click on save and return to course so when we go back to the course we can see that one change here the chat room is enabled and now it's time to check whether it is working or not so I just log out and log in as a student so I'll be knowing that whether this chat room is working or not so I just log in as a student first go to my course and uh, then I'll go to the particular week this one you can see that this, this chat room is enabled and you can find here two options the click here to enter the chat now or use more accessible interface so both will allow you to interact with the user uh, teacher so I just click on click here to enter the chat so it will open the chat room and now you can see that right side the name of users will appear and left side you can enter the text so suppose I write I and so my message will be floated in the chat room so whoever is joining the chat room will be able to see and respond accordingly so you can see that the chat room is working properly similarly there is another accessible interface which also can be used for sending the messages and in this simple open the accessible interface and just click on submit so the message will be floated you see here it is floated in the chat room so there are two methods or ways you can say which allow to interact with the course creator or the teacher so in this way we can add some other activity also so we will be discussing that activity in the next video. So I hope I have been able to make you understand the process of adding the another activity in the course. We will see more in the next video.